All right, I decided to do some uh, series of uh, videos on filters. And so I thought in order to make it easy on myself, I'd lay out some PC boards. So this was the first one. This is a, uh, a filter that I've showed before that I did um, in just a prototype situation where it was for a 40, 40 meter um, transmit output transmission uh, filter to kill harmonics. So it was a, allows seven megahertz and kills everything above it. So it's a low pass. It has some wound inductors and some capacitors. So um, I went ahead and uh, let's see here, did a PC board. So here's the PC board. Uh, there'll be an SMA on the input, SMA on the output, and I'll be able to try different things out. And um, we could just turn this into a high pass by changing the L's and the C's or try different uh, try different things out. Anyway, I thought it would be a kind of a, a valuable, just generic board to, to do things. I'm thinking of trying to figure out what, what would a generic proto board look like in RF design world. You know, it would need to have a ground plane. It would need to have some transmission lines. It would need to have a way to put in certain circuits. I'm not really sure what a good RF, if there is such a thing, what a good RF a proto board looks like. But anyway, I've got this off, uh, this off being built. Uh, this is a different board that I have uh, being manufactured, and this is a um, notch filter, okay? And it's an active filter, right? It has a, 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 an op amp in the feedback loop, and um, it's a twin T design. You can see that uh, there's one T filter here, uh, two resistors and a capacitor, so this is a, um, a low pass. And then there's uh, the other T on the other side, it's upside down. This T has two capacitors and one resistor, so it's a high pass. When you follow a loop low pass with a high pass and you um, space them accordion accordingly, um, you create a notch filter. And so this particular notch filter was uh, designed into a particular product. I'm still thinking if I want to build one or not. Um, I had some questions. Actually, a couple of people I think asked me um, what a uh, a total harmonic distortion analyzer um, how it functions. And today, most of those just take an FFT and um, subtract out the 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 main carrier and look at all the other harmonics and add those together. Well, in the old days, what you would do is you would have a notch filter that removed the center carrier. Um, and then what you would be left with is everything else. Um, and then you would just add that up and somehow you would have to calibrate the thing. So there's a lot of companies who built analyzers based on that particular type of design. Um, you know, Tech Tektronix had one, HP had one. Um, some other ones, I can't remember the name of them, they're pretty famous too. But anyway, a bunch of people had a bunch of people had those things and they all operated the same way. They had a notch filter in them. So I kind of wanted to just play with this notch filter and see how tunable it was and how good it was. Um, and I think there are some better design. This is a really old circuit. I think there's some better designs. Of course, in the modern world, you would just put it on a DSP. And uh, yeah, I, I'm still kind of focused my channel on old analog type stuff. Okay, and here's what that filter looks like um, or what the PC board looks like. Uh, there is... Uh, an input down here that uh, you put the power in, filter it, and then it goes into the filter. Filter has two adjustments, one for the uh, left-hand edge of the notch and one for the right-hand edge of the notch, and you move them back and forth with these uh, adjustments here. Um, and this is a fairly typical Salen key type design. And I haven't talked about selling keys, but I want to, but I won't quite yet. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so this is out being made, so it'll be, be kind of fun. So we'll play with these two filters, and uh, I have ideas for a third filter that will be into the future. I'll give you a glimpse of what that one's going to take a look at. That one's not out yet. And here's a glimpse of what will be coming up. I'll, I'm going to be talking about selling key filters. Um, and they are active filters. So this is the low pass, this is the low pass variety. Um, 
and you can see that it looks like a normal low pass. There's just an, a, an R and a C to ground, but then this feedback comes up with this capacitor and feeds back in around to this input here. So it does a funny thing. So, um, so this is the low pass variety. The high pass variety is gonna look basically the same, except for you've swapped R's and C's. Um, you can make a bandpass filter by doing some funny business here. Um, and then you can do a band reject filter, otherwise known as a notch filter, like doing a twin T, which is that other one that I already have sent out for manufacturing is basically, basically this. That one had a buffer on the input and a buffer on the output, but basically the same thing as this. So I'm gonna be doing a board uh, like this. And that board will have all of those filters all on one board. So I think this is, if you're new to active filters, I think this would be a great board to, to use and um, try different ideas out. All right, there you go. Just some ideas of uh, PCB layouts that I'm doing and uh, let's get some boards in for the new year.